We are here at the Jordan River, and if you take a close look, there are some areas that have been neglected for quite some time. But a renewed demand for natural spaces that provide a getaway has launched a new appreciation for this urban waterway. I'm indigenous, and in my culture, rivers to Mother Earth are like veins in my body. If I don't keep my veins clean, my blood clean, I'm not a healthy person. Same thing with Mother Nature. If we don't keep our rivers clean, Mother Earth is hurting. This is like our community. This is where our people are, and this is like where we live, and we drive around here every day, and so I think that Especially as a youth, like if we're going to do community service, like we should do it in our community to help and support our people. I'm with PATHS and we partner with Heartland Community. You know, we do a lot of events like this, cleaning up. Today we're going to be going out on the canoes and cleaning up the Jordan River. Oh, you're going to have so much fun. Oh my gosh. You're going to want to do this all day. <laughs> Not like I rev my like community so hard, but like I do. I think that like, especially like West Valley and like this area, just cause like, they're like the minority is no longer the minority. Like I'm surrounded by people who like look like me. And then when we all get together and we like do community service like this and we clean up the river or like the park across there, we planted trees. It's a really good outlet for us just to kind of like keep us on the right path, but allow us to have fun at the same time. Cause like we could definitely be off doing something that's not gonna help us. 28 years ago, I came to live in the West side and I saw the, the, the lack of focus on behalf of the higher authorities on these, on these people. And um, I, can, oh, I have openly said it, we serve the underserved. We work with children that don't want to be worked with. We, will, we welcome anybody. Okay, well, everyone now paddle on the right. <laughs> everyone paddle on the right. And the person in the back, use your paddle as a rudder to steer. Not that way, the other way. <laughs> we love to see young people getting involved and taking ownership. And so we, we try and encourage and, and support youth that come out to volunteer, do things like plant trees, reestablish native plants, pick up litter and trash and things like that. It, it's, you know, you can see smiles on their faces to be engaged and feel like they're doing something positive for their community. There's trash bag over there. Six o'clock, six o'clock. I've been here a few times like with my family and we've had activities over there at the park. Um, I never knew that it was as bad. Shopping carts. Sometimes tires. A lot of like bottles, glass bottles, plastic bottles. It affects everything. Like it affects the wildlife here, the plants. It looks bad for the community. There's a lot of impacts uh, on water quality and litter and, and debris in the river. The visible trash and debris that you see mostly comes from stormwater. Uh, whatever's in the curb and gutter or in the parking lot when the rains and the winds blow or the rains fall and snow melts, those things just get flushed down the system and they end up in the river. It does seem overwhelming, but the passion and dedication of volunteers is just incredible. You know, you go back a day after they've done a cleanup and you're like, there's hardly anything there. You know there'll be more the next time there's a windstorm or a rainfall, but for a moment in time, you can see what the magic of the river is when it's clean. There's only like, 20, there's like 20 kids here today and we cleaned up so much. We have like bags and pounds of trash and we were only here for like an hour. Like in that small amount of time that we spent, like we covered so much ground and we got so much done. And so like whether you're by yourself or whether you're with a big group of people, like anything helps. 
even though we might not know it, like the trash that we have, like could inevitably end up, like eventually end up here, like along the banks, and then like the animals that are here and everything are affected by it. And so I think that we should all be a little bit more conscious about what we use and like where our trash goes. This is a interesting river. It's, it's about 50 miles in length. It flows from Utah Lake to the Great Salt Lake, connecting Utah's two largest bodies of water. It also flows through the most urbanized part of the state. There are probably a million and a half people, which is about half the population of the state, that live within about 10 to 15 minutes of the Jordan River. There's a really important role that the river still plays as a gathering place, as a, uh, as a, a feature to allow people to get out of the hustle and bustle of the city and to connect with the natural world around them. There's a lot of research and information about the importance of being in nature to our emotional and physical health. You know, the river is a very nearby connection to get some of that, to see a great blue heron, or a kingfisher, or a hawk, or a beaver, or deer, just outside your backyard, or just down the street from where you live. It is very accessible, and we want it to just become this magic place where people can get away and help their emotional and mental health and get out and do something active. I, I, I long to see this Jordan River more cleaner. I long to see all these um, the little banks right here that are open with, with little tables and chairs where you could come and, and picnic. What do you teach your kids? Here, you could teach them the, the catch and release that they could go do in, a, in the ocean or somewhere else. Here, you could teach them how to paddle a canoe, how to paddle a kayak. Here, you keep, you keep them busy cleaning up. Like, it's awesome to be able to like drive by and be like, oh, like that tree, I planted that tree and I named it. Like I like, we, I cleaned up this river and like I planted those gardens. I'm prideful and I'm very proud of like us and then especially like this group of kids because we're all like, we all have that mindset where like this is our community and we need to give back because these are like our people we should be supporting like those in our community. And we all have that mindset and it's great to be able to get with other people like me to be able to like think that same way and then like do it, it's awesome.